Welcome to the first video installment of BiPi's YouTube channel. Today we are looking at the commonly asked question, just how do you get games on the BiPi system? It turns out it's incredibly simple. First we're going to go to our desktop computer that we're going to be pulling the games off of. I'm using a Windows machine and we're looking at Windows Explorer. I have it pointed at my USB thumb drive which is labeled Lexar. Now this is a fairly old USB thumb drive and I wanted to use it specifically to show you that any thumb drive should work for our purposes. You'll notice that my thumb drive is empty, but yours can have files. The key is that it must have enough space available for the games that you want to transfer. So with Windows Explorer pointed at that root directory, we're going to create a new folder called RetroPie. And that's R-E-T-R-O-P-I-E, -E, all in lowercase. And real quick, we'll take a look at that folder. You see that is empty. And so now we are ready to unplug that thumb drive and take it to our RetroPie device so it can configure the file system for our games. Now with our Raspberry Pi booted up, we're going to plug in that thumb drive. And once we do, the first thing we'll notice is a slight little flicker. And we're going to see it's happened a second time. Now what that's doing is the device is building a file structure onto the USB drive that provides the file system for all the game systems that the Pi supports out of the box. So next we're going to unplug that thumb drive again and take it to our computer to load our games. So now we're back on our desktop computer. We plugged in that USB thumb drive and we are looking at that RetroPie folder that we created before. And if we double click on it, we will now see three new folders have been created by the Raspberry Pi device. Uh, BIOS configs and ROMs. ROMs is the one we are concerned at looking at right now. So it has created 28 subfolders within the ROMs folder that correspond to each gaming system that uh, Emulation Station supports right out of the box. So for our purposes today, we are going to throw in a classic Nintendo game into this NES folder, and it is going to be Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. And basically you could follow the same process for whatever games on whatever systems you're looking to load to the system. Uh, right now we're under the RetroPie ROMs NES folder, but you could easily be under, say, Game Gear, Atari 2600, or say Nintendo 64. So basically you would go through this process for uh, the group of games that you wanted to add and then we are going to unplug our thumb drive and take it back to the Raspberry Pi device so we can sync these games up and start playing. So here we are back on our Raspberry Pi device. Now when we boot into Emulation Station if you don't have any games on the unit what you'll see is this icon for RetroPie in the middle with the configuration underneath it. Basically it's saying that it doesn't recognize that there are any games on the system therefore it doesn't have anything for you to load. Um, once you do load you'll see these um, see these logos like you're used to for Atari and Nintendo and, and uh, Sega what have you. So for right now I want us to focus on the Nintendo Entertainment System. We have 10 games on the device currently, and if we drill into that uh, category, we'll see that Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is not one of those games. So, let's fix that. We're going to go ahead and plug in our thumb drive, and it's going to act very similar to what we saw before. It's going to give us that quick little light flicker, and then it's going to happen a second time. So what that's doing is it's taking the games off the device and syncing them onto the Raspberry Pi unit. And it, it, that file structure that we saw of the game systems, it is just replicating that onto the gaming console so it knows exactly where to put those games and where RetroPie is going to need them. So once we've done that, we are going to reboot Emulation Station. So from our start button, we're going to say quit. We start emulation station. And in a couple seconds, we'll be back up. And we will see that we have picked up that elusive 11th game. And we come in. There is Mike Tyson's punch out. 
And if we launch it, that will take us into beautiful Mike. So, uh, as you saw, it's the whole process is pretty straightforward. So let's go back to our original gaming screen here. And so we're talking, what was that? Less than five minutes to go from computer to gaming. So it's, that's a, that's a pretty quick process. And like I say, you can do that for as many games as you have to, to load up on the device. So, um, thanks for checking out our video. Uh, we plan to release more Raspberry Pi type gaming videos. So, um, if this is something you're interested in, please subscribe to our channel. And um, if you're ever in need of a quality retro gaming console, come visit us at buypi.net to see what we have to offer. Um, until then, enjoy, enjoy gaming, guys. Thanks.